What's up Helix users, this is Steve Sterlachi and today we are going to be looking at something that I've been fiddling around with to try to get my Helix feeling more like a real amp or really in particular um, my 63 basement that I have here in the studio. I wanted to go through one thing in particular that has really helped develop the feel of the Helix under your fingers to make it feel more like the actual tube amp. So this is the surprise block of the day, this tube comp. And this tube compressor comes from the Legacy FX, which was the previous generation prior to Helix even being a thing. I think this is in the Pod HD series. And what I love about this is that it's simple and it's only got two knobs. It's really hard to mess this up. So if I were to reset the settings here, you'll see that it starts at 50 and 0.19, which is gonna give you this sound. And here's the bypass sound. So you're getting quite a bit of compression from that off the bat. And then other things that you could do, let's say we, we're gonna turn this threshold all the way up, which basically means that we're gonna have no, this basically is making it do nothing. So the threshold being all the way up means that it's not gonna compress anything off your signal. And the level being all the way down means it's not giving you any makeup gain. So bypass. And now engage. So very subtle, something happening there, but um, nothing too crazy. It actually still feels good with it on, even just like that, not doing anything. It almost like, I don't want to say it tames the high end. I don't know exactly EQ wise what it's doing. I just know that this is something that I stumbled upon. I enjoy the way it sounds and feels in between the amp and the cabinet. And you could just see here that I'm using the Tweed Basement and I'm using this, um, Recto Creamback IR. This is one of my presets that I use live and on tour. So how I go about dialing this in is I'm gonna take this threshold and I'm gonna start dialing this down just like this. And you could do this in your pedal edit mode if you haven't seen any of my videos on how to do that. Um, it's really simple to do. And I'm gonna dial this down until I see, and this is a weird thing about Helix is that there's no meter on HX edit, but there's a meter on the unit. So I'm gonna dial this threshold down until I just start seeing a little bit of a flicker in the um, in the meter on the Helix. So I basically wanted to just get the very highest of high peaks and just tame those down a little bit. And I mean, I don't know, if, like I said, I don't know if it does anything EQ wise to the high end, but to me, it feels like it does just enough to uh, kind of sweeten up the top end and give you a nice feeling um, nice feeling guitar sound. Does that make sense? You know what I mean. So they're at 0.74. And I'm getting my first hints of, um, of metering. So, so you see that little bit of, um, compression that the threshold is grabbing at 0.74 and it's just taking a little shaving off the top. And, um, now what you're going to do is find your level match. So, Obviously at point zero zero, it's probably gonna be pretty substantial difference volume wise. Let's check it in the DAW. You'll see it on the bottom channel there. So my bypass is still a little hotter. So I'm just gonna bring up this level. Let's try 0.11 until I get a good match here. Maybe a little too much there. Let's say 0.09. And that looks about right to me. And now it feels great to play and I think this sounds better. Even with the gain, putting on a gain pedal, let's hit on the Diana drive. Without it. With. Here it is with it, without, and now with a little bit of drive. All right, so that's what I do to get a little bit better of a kind of real tube amp feeling underneath my fingers when I'm using my Helix. And uh, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and thank you for all the support.